Bonjour, everyone. <laughs> hey, Frenchie, welcome back. Thank you. It's Kevin. And I'm Ralph, back here behind the camera. And I am back from Paris, France. And what a trip I had. Um, it was incredible. What are you um, making there? And to kind of keep the Paris vibe alive, uh, we are making a pot of French onion soup. Oh, that's something a lot of people can relate to. They've um, probably had it at restaurants a lot, yeah, but how many have sure. actually made it from scratch? And they actually serve this in France. I had it at a number of little bistros. But it's completely different though, right? Well, it was just wonderful. Um, but it is basically the French onion soup that we're familiar with, um, which is a soup that is a beef stock and has a lot of onions in it. So what I've done, Ralph, is I've put in a couple tablespoons of uh, olive oil and I'm mixing in about two tablespoons of butter. And so what I'm going to do is we'll get this melted up. I got a big pot here, uh, kind of a Dutch oven, although we're not going to put this in the oven, but this is a good one for that. You could use any large, you know, any large pot would work. So tell us about some of the... Uh things that you experienced in France, like I, I know you said the butter was completely unlike the butter we eat oh, here. the butter is so creamy there, the coffee is so rich, the wine so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I had great meals every day. Um, they never yeah. heard of margarine or decaf? Or no, you can't even add, they don't know what decaf coffee Good. is, at least where I was. Um, so everything's full flavor and full fat, but that's good in my book. Here's what I've got. This is three pounds of onions, okay? Now you can use Vidalia if you want to use a sweet onion. You could use a red onion, a Spanish onion, these a white are, onion. These are yellow? These say? are yellow onions. And how many again? Three pounds, which is like, that's a very common, um, size that they sell in the you know for a bag of onions now this is the part of the the process that takes time because what we've got to do and this is something that is really key to this recipe i'm just going to put some salt and pepper in here okay but these onions have to caramelize oh okay so that's the key that's the key which means we're going to brown them and as they caramelize, onions become very sweet, and as well as very tender. And that's where we've got to get them. Let's put a little salt in here. So we're just doing a little salt and pepper, the, yep. the butter, the olive oil, and the onions. And we're going to turn these around so that they get coated. And browned, or with caramelized. The, yeah, with the olive oil. So you can't, there's no quick way to do this, folks. Um, you just kind of okay. got to keep at it. We are about 15 minutes into the process. Now these are not done yet by any stretch of the imagination, but you see, Ralph, how they're starting to kind of turn light, a light brown? Yeah, you can definitely see the difference from uh, 15 minutes ago. Right, but it's taken 15 minutes to get to this point. So again, you know, the patience uh, pays off. Now, pays off. French onion soup, of course, has a beef base to it. And you can definitely make your own beef stock if you want. If you want to spend the time with the bones and the, you know, meat and the whole, the vegetables and all of that, I buy beef stock. But you can make your own if you want. This is also thyme. From mm, the garden. And it's fresh from the garden, yes. As a matter of fact, I was so happy that it, the thyme came back this year. It doesn't always. And we also have a little sherry. Sherry, little cooking, cooking wine. sherry, right? Cooking wine. We're gonna put that in there. So let's take a look at our look at that, Ralph. Gotten very uh, caramelized. Very. This is caramelized onions, and it's all that's all the sugars that are in the onions uh, have come out, and they are just beautiful. All the liquids have been kind of but cooked out. Do you remember it was almost to here, and now see how much it cooked down? Because oh, you yeah. had all that water evaporated. Oh yeah, yeah. Now at the bottom of the pan, you see these little, the you know, brown bits. It's a brown um, caramelization. Now I'm going to put in. This is one quart 
of uh, or four cups of beef of beef broth. And I'm gonna put this in first. I'm gonna need to put in a little more, but this is just to sort of get in the pan. Because what I want to do loosen up all the caramelization. Exactly, we're sides. actually gonna deglaze this pan with that broth with the we're gonna deglaze the pan with the broth and get all that brown stuff off the sides and off the bottom. Because that's where all the flavor lives. Exactly. That is like super concentrated onion flavor. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Now, you may want to check for salt and seasoning. We're not going to do that quite yet. Again, our major flavors here is the beef and the onion. Now, I'm going to, so we got four cups of broth in there. I'm going to put in about a half a cup of the sherry. And then I'm going to take, oh, a few sprigs of our thyme. Fresh thyme. And I'm putting them in whole because I'm going to fish these out. So they're just there to flavor it So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the heat up now. We want it to come up to a boil and then I'm going to reduce it down to a simmer. Okay? And then we're going to let it cook covered for about 20 minutes. You with me? I think so. So starting now, it's going to boil it as covered and then you're going to bring it down. And then I'll bring okay, it so down. So our French onion soup has been simmering away oh, for about 20 minutes. You can see it's gotten a little darker. We're going to give it a little taste. Mmm, it's got a nice oniony flavor. It, you can pick up the time. Cameraman, you want to give a little... Mmm, oh yeah. It's got a nice... Um, like sweetness from the sherry and yeah. the sherry gives it a very slight sweetness. It needs a little um, more something, a little more, a little more salt. beefy depth. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, if you had a, a beef bouillon cube, you might want to put a couple in there. I don't have any beef bouillon cubes, but I do have some beef uh, base soup base. Yeah. So you know what I'm going to put in put in um, oh probably a good tablespoon full there yeah I think that, that should will, do the trick that'll deepen the beef flavor and it'll also add a little salt uh, yeah, to it's, it it's definitely on the way it's got some great aromatic uh, flavors and things happening there with the onions and the beef broth and the thyme but I think uh, yeah it needed a little more salt and maybe a little more deepening of the beef flavor so and again you know the best way is now the to sherry taste. you could leave out if you wanted to. You don't have to put sherry or wine in the soup. Um, that's totally optional. Um, and like I said, you might. Some people have a less of a tolerance for salt. Um, yeah, and so you, you don't want it over salty, but do it to taste. Do it to how you like it. And um, you notice we use the same spoon, so to get in there, we're good. Yeah, it's good. good. It's good where it is. So we're going to let this just simmer, um, oh, maybe another 10 or 15 minutes. So we minutes. are still working on our French onion soup. The soup is done, by and large, and so now, Ralph, we're just making, can't have French onion soup without... Uh, the big croutons? The croutons. The bread. So the we're going bread. to make some croutons. I'm going to just take this little end off here. What kind of bread did they use when you were in France? Well, it was... You know, different restaurants use different things. A baguette, um, some was a larger loaf. It depends because sometimes the soup, soup would come in a small little thing like this. Sometimes it would come in a big, almost an urn. Um, but we're just using a French bread because that's what we we're able to get locally here. Um, <clears throat> so it's got a little crust on it, but we're going to make our own croutons. Just slather some butter first. We're going to put a little butter on here. And... I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. So what we're going to do is put our butter and then season them, right? Yes. I'm just guessing here. But so I have had start. my share of uh, Americanized French onion <laughs> soup, so I know a little bit of the basic stuff. So you're sprinkling now a little. This is just granulated garlic. 
good. I'm just going to put a little bit on. You could also use granulated onion, although the soup is plenty oniony. Then, this is, I actually got this in France, Herbes de Provence. And we're going to put some of that on there. As opposed to Herbes de Tarlec from WKRP <laughs> in Cincinnati, right? Herbes right. de Provence. Herbes de Provence. Which is what, like a blend of... Uh, it's, yeah, it's actually a blend of herbs... Thyme, rosemary, but obviously a pretty, pretty popular in in Europe and in France and Paris, yes. and the go-to spice. So now we're going to put it on a little cookie sheet here on a jelly roll pan, and you we're said going to toast these in the oven. You said the oven's at what temperature? Four hundred degrees. Great. So we will get these in the oven, uh, <clears throat> probably about ten to. 10 to 15 minutes. You're just going to have to keep an eye on them. When they start to get brown around the rim, they're ready to come out. And again, it's okay even this bread's a little stale because we bought it yesterday and we already ate some, but that's okay because the idea is the bread is dry and so when you put it on top of the soup, it absorbs that wonderful beef broth and softens. Um, and it serves as an island to support the cheese which goes on top. We're going to get cleaned up and I'll come back and we'll get our Gruyere cheese ground up and ready to go. Be right back. Okay. This is the Gruyere cheese. Um, it is, you can't always find it in the market. Um, it's not uncommon but not every place has it. It is a hard cheese like a Parmesan. Um, but it is a strong flavored cheese. It's got a sharpness to it, a bite. And it is very traditional for the top of this soup. So, you know, it, depending on how many individual servings, you're probably gonna want about two ounces of cheese per serving. So, I got an eight ounce or a half a pound of gray air and for making a couple of little crocks I'm going to use about four ounces so we're just going to get this shredded up I think we mentioned some other cheese recommendations yeah and it's and grayer can be expensive also so like I said you could use like a Parmigiana uh, Reg, uh, Reggiano you could use uh, you know a Swiss cheese if you wanted to you could use a mozzarella although that melts beautifully although it has very little it doesn't have the flavor. strong flavor that complements the beef and I think that's part of what you want is you know everything strong flavors for strong flavors kind of yeah and that's the beauty of like French cooking every element contributes it's to the profile of the, the dish and so the cheese that you use should have should have flavor and something like uh, the so the croutons are out of the oven they took about uh, 12 minutes or so. I switched the oven to broil. And what I'm doing now is we're just serving up a couple of little crocks here. Now, um, you know, when you're broiling, you have to use something that's sort of broiler safe. So, you know, stoneware is good. Um, you, a lot of glass you can't use because it's... Uh, just not broiler safe, so make sure you use something that is. And obviously they make a lot of uh, French onion soup crocks, and you can see them at, at uh, garage sales and flea markets. Sometimes a ramekin uh, that is used, and so that's something else that you can. So we've got our bowls. I'm look at the, here's our croutons. Those look really crunchy. Good. So flavorful. We're gonna put. Look at this. Three little croutons. That bowl has more. So I know what you're thinking. That's the one you want. Now here's our cheese. So just enough to cover yep. the whole. And, and you'll see that you know the, the croutons are sort of going to hold the cheese up. So they're also very functional. Yeah, that's what I like about. Them. In addition to having you know soup, you always think of soup and bread as a good combination. Here you have it all together. Yeah. So everything is. Um, not just delicious, but functional. Now we're going to take this. I'm going to put these on a pan. Just, just to be safe. Yeah, it's just easier to handle. This is the pan we used for the 
uh, croutons. So and once again, you said you put it up the you moved the rack. I up moved to the rack, but I, you could see I didn't do it very well. So we're gonna a little cockeyed. Yeah. There so we get go. your rack up to uh, right there. What about maybe um, six inches from the broiler? Well, I don't want to put it too too close. This will be fine. But is that about six inches from the broiler? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not very good with the measurements, but anyway, you can see how it's fit in there just close we'll keep an it. eye on it you get this idea of having the cheese melt and get browned on the top so it'll probably take about three or four minutes and then we'll come back and we'll have our finished French should onion we, soup should we leave the oven open yes okay. that way we can watch it see it bubbling oh yeah it's bubbling away in there yeah. and it's making this house smell so nutty and cheesy and yummy mm. And that's the that's what the Gruyere cheese brings. It brings that flavor, that nuttiness, um, where you wouldn't get it with some other cheeses. And that's part of why this it goes, is really the cheese to use, if you can. And now you're smelling. I'm starting to smell it. Um, getting that little, not burnt, but yeah, a little yeah. Um, cooked. We're gonna give and it one more minute. It's taking on a whole different smell now that the cheese is getting um. You know, right, it's me it's gone beyond melting, and now the cheese is going to start to brown on the browning. Top. Yeah, getting a nice crust. So about another minute, and uh, we'll all right. It here it is. Uh, all about four minutes under the broiler, and look at that cheese. Boy, how it's it melted, and it smells so good. And you can see the croutons have absorbed. They're nice, crusty on the outside underneath nice and soft where it's absorbed that wonderful beefy broth and you've got all those good onions under there so here it is folks french onion soup the real deal that nutty gruyere cheese melted on top it uh, smells just so uh, full of flavors and richness and it's hard to describe this is uh gonna take me right back to paris good so um Really, a great recipe. All you need is a little time and the right ingredients, and you can get four beautiful bowls of French onion soup just like this. So worth it. It is so good. It smells good, it's gonna taste good, and it's gonna fill your belly with a nice, warm, lovely French onion soup. That's right. So we're back in the States for the time being, and loving it getting ready to go up to the cottage and do a lot of cooking for the summer season. But thanks so much, merci, for being a part of this episode. And we'll see you the next time. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.